Yeah, that's it. That's him. Oh my God. What? This can't be. Elizabeth, what's wrong? You, you know this person? I think it's someone you know too. Face on. Who's face on? Well, there's nothing to stop us from being together, is there? No. There's nothing to stop us. So why don't we take this into the bedroom? I've waited for you for so long. Slow this down. Why? Why slow down? You know how much I've missed you. Yeah, you've made that very clear. Okay, then I won't bore you by repeating it, but Anna, all I've wanted is just to hold you, to kiss you, to make love to you, to wake up with you in my arms, and now I have you. I finally, I, I have you here. It's not that I don't feel. Anna, please don't make me wait. Please. I'm laying myself at your feet. Please say yes. Say yes. It's the face of the one man I never wanted to see again. If he's involved in this, things just got a lot worse. It doesn't make any sense. Well, well, one thing does. That is definitely the face of the man that I saw when I when I looked at Duke Lavery. So who, who who the hell is he? I don't even know where to begin. How does one begin to describe Faison? He's a relic from the Cold War. Black ops, wet work for the bad guys. He's also a... A toxic strain of bacteria. And uh, you two know this guy how? He's a master spy. Framed me as a traitor. It's the reason I never came back. This man is... He's done a lot worse in life. He's evil. He's left a wake of hell. So, so why have I never heard of this guy before? He's supposed to be dead. He's supposed to be? Well, we never found the body. Okay, but, but I still don't get it. Why would I look at Duke Lavery and see this... this Faison guy? <laughs> Oh, there's your million dollar question, kids. I can't do this. Lulu was talking about these visions you get. What's your success rate? Well, let's see, there was Lulu being pregnant. I guess that didn't really last. Um, Dr. Keenan, the poison water, the rain. There was Heather, I saw a whole lot about her. Um, Connie, I would say six or seven. Any big misses? No, except that sometimes the message is only meaningful in retrospect, so. Did Faison and Duke ever work together? Faison's way above the library station. Well, then if the two of them are connected... Oh, I never they said would... that. They're connected. Through Anna. Faison's mother was Anna's nanny as a child. I guess Faison fixated on her, and that then became a lifelong obsession. If he's involved in this, then it's all about Anna. Okay, but that, that still doesn't explain why Olivia would see Faison when she looked at Duke. Maybe... Faison has some control over Lavery. Look, you spend 20 years in a Turkish prison, anything's possible. But you know what? I, I hate to rain on your parade, you guys, but, but I'm not that complicated. I just, I see what I see. What do you mean? I mean, I see Heather and Heather turns up. I see Kate is Connie and Kate is Connie. I just see what's actually there. Maybe it's that simple. Maybe Lavery really is Faison. What's wrong? Um, I just need a moment. 
Aren't what? we supposed to be having dinner? Can we just have dinner? Did, did I misunderstand something? Did, you didn't want to kiss me? You don't... Do you don't have feelings for me? I want to. But I just can't. Why? Is this about Robert? Because Robert's returned to town. Faison knows that Anna despises him. So he's got to come at her from a different angle, perhaps using a different face. You think he had plastic surgery to look like Duke? He has the connections and the resources. You guys, I'm sorry. I'm so this is just that's crazy. No crazier than Lavery turning up after 20 years in a in a Turkish prison when Anna's at her most vulnerable, grieving over our daughter. But why? Why would he go through all that? Why would he change his whole face and his voice and the way he walks? Because he can. And he'd do a whole lot more if he knew that that would get him Anna. No, it's it's not. It's not Robert. That's not why I don't want Then what is it? I don't want to pressure you. I don't want to make you feel uncomfortable, but... We're so close, Anna. Why are you stopping? Sorry. It's you, Duke. I apologize. Perhaps we, we should just have dinner after all. No, 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 look, it's nothing that you've done. At least not that I can pinpoint. I, I don't understand. It's really hard to put into words. Is this how you imagined it would be? You and me? Honestly? Honestly, no. When I was in my cell, I pictured you throwing yourself into my arms, telling me that you loved me. Of course, I realize you probably had moved on with your life and you'd probably put me to the part. I never your mind... forgot about you, ever. To be realistic, Anna, I knew you would have moved on with your life. You couldn't remain frozen. You would have had other relationships, but I thought when I came back into your life that we would love each other, and here we are together, and we're learning to love each other again. We were so happy once, weren't we? <laughs> we could be happy again. I mean, if you're willing. This sounds so vague. Do I feel the same way to you? Of course you do. And my love for you is just the same. It hasn't changed. Has your love for me? Something's changed. I don't know what it is. But you... You feel... different. Anna spent most of her life in the intelligence business. Under normal circumstances, she'd be tough to fool. But right now, she's at her weakest, grieving over our... our daughter. So what happens? Faison turns up wearing Lavery's face. A man who she loved. The one man who she would hope who might even still be alive. But, but how does this even benefit this Faison guy? Anna doesn't love him for himself. The guy's a psycho. Who knows what he's thinking? I mean, he might hope that Anna's feelings will change. He might be happy going on pretending. Wait, who are you calling? Anna. I got a warner. Robert, are you sure about this? Am I sure that Faison faked his own death and came back dressed up as Lavery in order to win Anna's love? No, I'm not. But if there's a ghost of a chance he's involved in this, then she has to know wait, about Wait, 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 hold the phone, you guys. I'm sorry to wreck your story here, but what if we're wrong about this? I mean, what happened? I saw a face I didn't recognize. You drew a picture. Is this really enough to sound an alarm? Nobody knows more than Anna what this guy's capable of. But all you have is a sketch of a man Anna thinks is dead, and you're gonna tell her he's pretending to be Duke? You got a point. You know, my ex is never crazy when I turn up. Back in the day, Lavery and I, we were adversaries. I never trusted him. But if I tell her that Lavery's face on, well, I doubt she'll believe me. Worse, she may tell him. And there's no telling what this Faison guy might do if he feels like he's threatened. I can't afford to tip him off. I gotta get more proof. I seem different to you. Yeah. How? I don't know. You're the man I loved and married and eventually mourned. But just 
There's something that... It's like you're the same, but different all at once. I'm sorry. I really don't mean to hurt no, you. No, I don't. I want you to be honest with me. I want you to be honest with me. We can't move forward with secrets and lies. It's me. It, maybe it's me. You, having you back has just made me question everything that I knew. Because if I was wrong about you being dead, what else am I wrong about? Oh, don't doubt yourself. You haven't changed, Anna. You're as intelligent and beautiful as you always were. I am the one who's changed. How could I not change? <laughs> I've been running in a prison for 20 years. But the one thing that did not change was the love that I have for you. So please don't tell me that I fought my way back here to you. Just for you not to want me, not now. Please. You haven't lost me. I just need a little time. Can you give me that? You can have all the time in the world, Anna. Thank you. I know we'll be together in the end. I've always known that. I know this sounds demented, but demented is the way that this guy works. I gotta prove he's alive and I gotta do it soon because he's moving quick. And if Anna won't come to him on his timetable, he'll just take her.